Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how to use Sanctum access token. I am not going to show how to uh, get the access token after login or registration. You can check the Laravel documentation, you can find it easily. So first I will go to composer.json here. If you see that Laravel comes with Sanctum package, so you don't need to do anything. So I will go to api.php, so to use that uh, token. I'm going to add the middleware uh, auth sanctum and then I'll copy these middlewares to update and destroy. So for listing of products, we don't need to check anything. So it can be seen by anyone. So I'll go to this uh, first test. It shows list of products. Mm, I think I can remove this one. And then I'll add one more uh, five products. Now it should be 15 products. Okay, if I run the test, so this is getting passed. So we will move on to the next test, which is it creates product. In here, we will create a user, user factory, create. And then this product for this user, okay, dollar user. Here, in case we access this endpoint, so without having the sanctum token, we will add the comment as well without sanctum token. I paste this one in here assert unauthorized so we should get this error if we comment everything this should pass mm, creates product it is failing uh, because we are having this without exception handling then if we run it again it is passed so we'll go to the next step we will uncomment this one and this one as well. After that, uh, we need to add the ability, okay, while passing the sanctum token. So sanctum acting as dollar user. So this should have the ability called product dot create. When it goes to this controller we have to check whether the token is valid okay for that we'll go to product controller here we should add about unless auth user and the user is having this ability i mean the product dot create we are checking this product dot create if he, the token doesn't have this ability then we are throwing response http underscore 4 bitten which is 403 so we'll go back to product controller test um, i will add one more thing i'll paste it again here and we'll add the ability sanctum acting as dollar user I'm not adding any ability. Just I'll add the command with sanctum token, but different ability. Okay. In this case, it has to throw uh, asset forbidden. So I'm running this test again. We will check. It is getting passed. So this is done then we will move on to it updates product in here also we'll add dollar user user factory create and then we are creating the product with this user and then i think we can do the same thing i'll copy everything and paste it again and without 
sanctum token i think you can delete this on this case we need to get asset unauthorized okay and then so with sanctum token but different ability in this case i just copy everything from here and paste it in here and instead of uh, this one i'm going to add asset forbidden okay but we need to add sanctum token sanctum acting as dollar user this is with token so sanctum acting as dollar user and ability is product dot update okay now if we run this test it will fail uh, i'll copy this one and i'll paste it here it updates product it is failed 403 but receive 200 okay so i'll go to product controller test i'll just copy everything from store and i'll come to update method i'll just paste it okay i'll just change it to update now we will run the test again it is getting passed then we will do the same thing for delete test i mean delete product test so here same thing i will add user user factory create and product for dollar user okay and i'll just copy this line and here i will add without sanctum token i'll paste it in here if it is without access token it has to throw unauthorized exception okay so we are setting that and then with sanctum token but uh, different ability so sanctum acting as dollar user okay i'll paste it again in this case it has to throw assert forbidden and then if you have the proper access token with the proper ability then sanctum acting as dollar user and uh, product dot delete in this case it should run everything we will run the delete test it uh, deletes product it is getting failed so we will go to product controller and i'll copy this one from here and paste it here just i'll change from update to delete now again i'm running the test so it is getting passed i'll remove this one and run all the tests from this controller okay there are four tests it is getting passed i hope you like this video please share it to your friends and subscribe to my channel we'll see it in the next video thank you